Saturday morning, so yesterday I got the flooring in. Um, I think I carried in about, must have been about 150 sheets in yesterday. Uh, it took ages. So the day now, I just wanted to put a couple down to see how it kind of was going to flow. Um, it's a long weekend here now, so I plan to get the whole floor and done now over the weekend. It's just a wee bit slow, you have to lift stuff out and put the floor in, then put it back, and then kind of move back then uh, at that. So I just put a couple of tiles down there now just to get a wee lay of the land, see how it's going to go. That's probably going to go all right. Uh, I'm going to get my training done for the day now that I um, have to get done, and then once I get all that done, I'll go home and get a bite to eat, and then I'll come back down then for the rest of the day and tomorrow until I get it totally finished. Right, so I'm going to get my training done now out of the road as fast as I can really and then get back to this floor now. Um, what we're at today is every two minutes for five sets we're going to do one single power snatch and that's going to be anywhere between 90 to 100% of our one rep max or heavier than last week's five by twos. Now last week's five by twos I done at 85 kilos so and it was a terrible snatch day. I remember that one back it was rubbish snatch day so fingers crossed the day goes a bit better for the power snatch. <clears throat> 85 last week, I'm going to try and get anywhere beyond that, so I'm going to warm up now, keep going for singles and all, and keep going until I get to 85 kilos, see how that feels, hopefully we can pass that at 88 or 90 maybe even, and then we'll do one single every two minutes for five sets. Right, so I've warmed up there now and I've hit 88 kilo, which is heavier than last week's 5x2. So I can continue now and do the next four reps at uh, 88 kilos, or I can chance the 90 kilos, which would be 90%. I might just try the 90%, 90 kilo. If I hit that, that's well and good. I'll continue on. If not, I'll just come back down to 88 and finish out. So I'll try the 90%, see how it feels. Right, so I've missed 90 kilo there on the first attempt, but I think I might have it, so I'm going to try it. Right, it was a bit messy, but it went up anyway. 90 kilo, I'm going to try now for four more of those every two minutes, we'll do one single. See how it goes. could turn into a shit session again. I know you eat like, ah. Oh. Right, that's two misses now at 90 kilos. I've hit one and then missed two. If I miss this 90 one more time, then I'll just fall back to 89 or 88 and try and uh, hit the 88. So, see how it goes. So I missed 90 for a third time, then went back down to 88 and got that purse, 90 to 88. Again, very wild, bad, starfish catch position and all, but I know it is what it is. Do you know it's just after dawning on me there now? <clears throat> I was saying 90%, right? I was going to try and hit 90%, 90 kilo. That's 90% of my squat snatch. My squat snatch is 100 kilo, and I only ever hit that once, but my power snatch is 95. So now my 95, or my 90% of 95 was 85 kilos. So I already hit the 88 now for two. So I'm above that. Ah, that makes more sense now. Right, if I hit the rest of these three, I'll be happy enough. I'm just gonna try and tidy them up a wee bit there, a wee bit starfishy. So um, two done, and I'll try and get the third one now. Just full of misses a day, hey? <laughs> right. Just have to keep cracking away at it again, hey. These power snatches are something I've neglected about looks so I need to work on these. Still on two reps, three more to go, and that was another mess. <laughs> I 
that's more misses again there but um finally now i'm out of three done they're rough like they're three rough snatches but 88 kilos so it's just above it's above 90 percent of my one rep max uh, 80, 85 kilos 90 percent so i'm just slightly above 90 percent understandable again too when you're up at that weight but it just shows you like um, the power snatch, you need to work on it too. Hey. You're, there's just so much to do. You think when you're squat snatching, the weight's just going up easy, but like you're able to get under the bar way, way, way easier to do. I think, you know, in my opinion, than a power snatch, because like the power, like you get up so much higher for a squat snatch, you can just get under it. Right, I have three in the bag, two more. I'm just gonna keep her going. I'm not gonna take too much rest between it. Sometimes when the heart rate's up and you're going, I like to just hit it. Um, two more to go. Right, that's a snatching done. Uh, rough as fuck, but it's done. So do you see there, there's 58 days now left to go. That's how long I've left before I can eat sweets. Yeah, remember I say in a couple of weeks back, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I, almost a month now uh, ago, I said that I would stop eating sweets and crisps and buns and stuff like that just to see if I could do it. Um, not for losing weight or nothing like that, just to see how I got the willpower. And so far, so good. First two weeks is a wee bit hairy enough now. It was tight, you're like, oh, I'd love a bun, love a biscuit, love a pack crisp. But uh, to be honest, uh, it's a month and it now, and no cravings at all whatsoever. Any time that I did get a craving, I ended up just, uh, well, actually it has happened. I've had two dinners every day now to kind of compensate for it. Because in the evening time, I usually eat my dinner at four o'clock. And then I come home then from coaching the class and it was about half seven or so and I'll have like a bite to eat. But now in the evening I just go again for like another dinner. So that kind of satisfies me and I don't even crave it then. Because it's very hard to kind of sit in on a night time and overeat on like beef and chicken and like spuds and stuff like that or ham and cheese toasties. Like, whereas if you sit in with like a bag of Pringles or a bag of crisps or a block of ice cream or something like that, then it, you could just go all night. So, so far so good. Just a wee update on that. Right, workout now, I'm gonna write it on the board here and then we'll see what the story is with. That's a workout, 10 rounds for time of three snatches. Three bar facing burpees. Snatches is gonna be at 60 kilo. 10 minute time cap in this one. That was short, sharp, 4.54, unbroken on all the snatches, while slow on the burpees until the last round, then just pushed it. So I knew I could cycle 60 no baller for the three. So that's where I held on and then used the burpees as a recovery. If maybe you found that you could push the burpees a bit faster, but the snatches could be a bit heavy for you, I would go singles in the snatches and uh, push the burpees, but for me, Unbroken on the snatches, I was fine. Slowed the burpees. 4.54. Oh, that was a short and sharp one there. So this is a reason why it's so important to track your progress, right? I keep a diary of every workout I've ever done since like November 19. So this was a repeat workout oh, from the 25th of October 2022, right? So what I did was went back, found the book, Found that it was October, right? Opened it up to the Tuesday, the 25th of October, which was here. And you look down here at the bottom of the page, right? Workout on that day was 10 rounds for time, same as what we just did there. Three snatches, 60, three bar facing burpees. My time, 5.27 a year ago. 4.54 of the day, right? So if you look here at the bottom, I wrote singles until the last round and then unbroken for the last set. 527 back then 25th of October Tuesday, or Tuesday 25th of October 22 today 
454 and unbroken for every set so that's why it's important hey to uh, keep account of all your your reps your times your weights because you can look back you know I might have had I not had that wrote down I would have thought today oh, maybe I could have pushed that a wee bit harder and I think still I could have pushed it a wee bit harder but without giving it like 95 to 100% effort today I'm still well above what I was last year so that to me is progress so these wee books are important I actually have I actually did get another one the other day I have 12 of these now filled out so that's what I mean there about all the books I've got 12 books there now in total first one dating back oh yes Pat first one dating back as far as 18th of November 2019 so whenever I started following comp train I made a diary of every workout I've done so that was 18th of November to the 6th of March 2020 and I have every workout done since the only time I missed a week on this program and was whenever I had Covid a couple of years ago there um, that was the only time but everything else has been religiously done and that's why I think it's an important especially whenever I train on my own stuff like this here writing it down taking it off it kind of keeps you accountable you're like right this is what i have to do this is what i have to mark off so i would recommend especially if you train your own maybe if you're in part of a class it's a different story because you're you're with people and they'll be pushing you but if you do train alone make a note of all your workouts tick them off and keep yourself accountable and that that helps me so it might help you right we'll get on this 15 minute i'm wrap showing the word here what we're at For the last piece of the day we have 15 minute AMRAP, we're going to be doing 12 cal on the echo bike, a 10 box jumps and then 1 by 50 foot sandbag carry, sandbags will be 50 kilos, 60 kilos sorry, that's it, 15 minute AMRAP, last piece round out the day. These box jumps as well, sorry I forgot to mention, they're going to be at 30 inches, so slightly higher than normal 30 inch box jumps. Again if you're a female doing this you would go to the male or X height which would be 24 inches for you but everything's just been bumped up a wee bit. So that was the last piece of day that we am wrapped there. Didn't really push it too hard in fairness, I was just tipping through it. Um, that's training done today folks. I am going to head back up now, I must get shower, bite deed, and then I'm going to come back down and tackle into the rest of that floor. Um, I've got some snatching to do now tomorrow, the week two, day two of the snatch, that'll be a separate video. I've got a bit of a cut here now in my hand today, did pull ups yesterday and then I kind of ripped the day whenever I was doing them snatches, so hopefully that heals up for tomorrow um, for the snatch program. But that's it folks, um, as I say we'll be recording that tomorrow so I'll see you on Monday again for a normal vlog, good luck.